Yo guys, Superior David here, and today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite decks of all time in Hearthstone that's making a big comeback on ladder, and that is, you guessed it, Big Warrior. Now, you know, this is an archetype that's been around in Hearthstone before and plays out pretty much exactly as it has in the past. You want to use Warrior's efficient removal to control that early game board, and then moving into the mid game, you start cheating out big old minions with Commencement and the new Cowardly Grunt. And then, you know, from here, the onslaught of just giant minion after giant minion is usually enough to overwhelm most decks outside of like the greedier control decks which you know fortunately there aren't too many of on ladder at the moment but i will say that like some combo and otk decks can like give this deck some trouble particularly that freaking quest mage but against the rest of the field i find that like a well-timed bulwark can absolutely steal games and make your opponents just rage quit and it's glorious but let's be honest here where this deck truly shines is against like any aggro or board based decks just due to our superior removal and aoe cards and i think that's really reflected in the mulligan for this deck where like most of the time you're always looking for like sword and board mind field and rancor these like in my opinion are just like the best removal cards in the deck and can easily carry you into that mid game for most matchups where you can start cheating out big minions and if you can get to that point in the game you are feeling really good as the big warrior so I, that's why i feel like these cards are really important in the mulligan and you know speaking of cheating out big minions in slower matchups i think you can totally keep a cowardly grunt or commencement in the mulligan because you won't be under too much pressure there but against those aggro decks i will only keep these cards if like i already have the removal i mentioned earlier don't be a greedy gary and keep the grunt and the commencement with no removal because i guarantee you will get overrun and lose long before you can play those cards so just please heed my warning toss those greedy cards away and keep your removal you'll be doing a lot better with this deck and with that you know that's pretty much all there is to big warrior you got your big minions you got your removal if you can understand these two things you'll probably do well with this deck so let's get into that superior gameplay you all know and love so let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about the deck and you know i'm sure some people will be wondering why like i included certain big minions and not other ones i got this question a lot on stream and i think the beauty of big warrior is that you can sort of tailor the big minion pool to your meta and personal preferences and that's sort of what i did over here but anyways make sure to hit that big old like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already because it really helps me out and you'd be doing me a big favor but enough of these cringy jokes stay superior i'll see you guys next one later there we go this is a much better hand in my opinion I'm still like waiting to see like a freaking weapon rogue on ladder. I'm scared of the weapon rogues, guys. Very scared of weapon rogues. We do have commencement though, so if it is weapon rogue, we'll be fine. <clears throat> uh, I think I will go Corsair Cash. Normally, I feel like a lot of times in this matchup, I want to just be weaving an armor, but like if this gets me my bulwark, that'd be pretty good. We got the bulwark. Oh, that's so good. Oh man, Jufa, you are mean. You are mean. Ooh, okay. Shroud of Concealment. So it looks like they're probably going to pop off with their, like, maybe, like, if they got, like, a, I'm assuming, like, this is Octobot. Octobot or Field Contact. They're probably going to pop off in the next couple turns. Like, maybe discount their hand this turn, pop off to draw, like, the first third of their deck the following turn. In this matchup, we really got to, we have to, like, read when they're, they're going to go for their uh, shenanigans because we got the Bulwark for some protection this could eat this eats like five bleeds whoa kazakis oh no this is actually oh wait we have a blade storm so we'll, we'll be fine we, we get the weapon down this is actually no big deal at all because even if they get like the nuttiest option which would be like divine shield summon a copy we don't even care we don't even care so much guys look at this hand we have like removal for days it's crazy how, like, like not too long ago, like, you just couldn't play this deck because, like, you know, he had, like, Warlock just sort of being, like, a bottleneck in the meta. Oh, Stealth sum Summon a copy. That's cute. Can, I, can, can, can we get some Fs for these? Oh, wait. I almost, I almost played the Bulwark. I was talking so much smack, almost played the wrong card. Uh, Bladestorm. Easy Bladestorm. Oof. You hate to see it if you're a sub us fan, but you know, if you're superior, you're very happy about that. Are you guys superior? I feel like you guys are pretty superior. Oh, dick move. They they know that I wanna play uh commencement here. What are they doing? They're I feel like with two mana left, they're just gonna like dagger up. Are they thinking about like shadow stuffing this back to their hand, maybe? I feel like you probably don't want to be doing that. Oh yeah, yeah, J Joe. I don't know. I, I think we need Cold Neophyte in this meta. There's so much mana cheating. Like, you sort of need Cold Neophyte just to, like, keep the, the, those strategies in check. Uh, ooh. 
Um, I'll just burn the minefield then. I'm being very careful with my uh, my life total here. I like I could have traded into that. I, I would have well, for, I would have overdrawn, but I need to be be careful with my life total here. I mean, I feel like uh, uh, Colt Neophyte and Watch Post are, are super good just because they're like a ne you, like they're just needed in this meta. You can't like like you just can't play the game without them right now. It's the only way like some decks could slow down the game enough where they can even ha have, like have like a chance. Oh, let's go! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! That's that's a, that's a big dude. Um, now the question is, do I provoke this stuff? I think I will actually provoke this stuff off the board. I could take a swing face. I think I'll start swinging face next turn. These mana disruption cards are the only way like us normal decks could compete with like the, the like this mana cheating here. Actually, maybe I should have attacked this turn because if they're gonna draw through their deck now, I might have to play the bulwark just just to uh, you know not die. It's looking like that actually. I think I, I missed out on getting an attack in. Hopefully they start playing minions. Like I think, like I think, like the the ideal turn here is going to be to go like Rancor into Bulwark. Like they go wide on the board here. I play the Rancor. Yes, play more minions. Play the minions. Let's go. Let's go. Give me some. Give me that sweet armor, baby. Sweet armor. Whew. And I think they're being careful right now because they, they don't want to like. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they're the Penflinger goes back to their hand. Yeah, we definitely need to play uh, Bulwark next turn because I I feel like my our our opponent's going to just combo us out soon. And they play Kazakus. So guys, how, how does this deck deal with a bulwark? They don't run they don't run like weapon destruction. Whoa! Oh, they just took it! They just took it! What? Wow! Oh man, they are totally trying to go in next turn, and we are gonna deny this. They don't deal with it. that's good. Yeah, because this can't go face anymore. And this could still go face. Oh man, it would be busted. Interesting. These animations are really long. Do I have 10 cards? I do have 10 cards. All right, so now we go uh, Rancor. We bash him in the face. And see, I basically just missed three damage face, and that actually could matter here. So maybe, I, I, that was actually a really big misplay. Ooh, what a big bird. I don't know how they beat us now, guys. I don't know how they beat us now. Ooh, ooh! Oh no! Okay, well they run. We we know that they run ooze now. They run ooze. That's okay. That's okay, Lanko. I don't want to freaking hear it. I don't want to freaking hear it. I don't want to hear it, chat. I don't want to freaking hear it. Who asked you? Who asked you guys? I think Vi Viper would be better in this deck because you could cycle it. Like if they burn the field contact, that's their problem right now. Unless they got card draw off this. Uh, oh no, it's not good. 36. I don't think I die from 36 with no card draw next turn. I'm trying to figure out if I go for the heavy plate and armor up, if it's even worth it. Like I'm at 36, I could go up to 44, 46 if I hero power, but then I'm not developing on the board. I was just seeing that field contact burn. I think maybe we could just try to go for the win. You think gaining all the health? I see the merits of it. I just don't know if it'll be like if it'll matter anyways. I don't know. I don't know how much damage they could do. <sighs> I guess we could give it a little college shot. Just see if we live. I'm almost out of cards. I don't know. I think they. I mean, I think they might be able to OTK us though. I'm not sure about that. I, I'm safe. I don't know, dude. This deck could do a lot. There are different builds of it right now, so I'm, I'm I don't know which build we're going after. No, I, I feel like in this deck you would much rather want the the uh, the rot, the rust rot viper, because then like if you you're you're able to use that second field contact, and you could always like cycle the rust rot viper in the end to to get those brute the uh, bleeds out of your deck. Now our opponent like burn our opponent burned their freaking uh, field contact, so they they just can't really do anything right now. They've. This deck plays the one three Arcanist. That, that's crazy. I think we just got to go for this. I could even like 
shield slam this dude. Just no damage for you. No, wait. They probably wanted to burn that, actually. I guess they always would have been able to kill it off. 39, 47. We're at 47. We're at 47. If they want it, they got to take it here. I think with double shadow step, they could actually do it. But they have no way to draw the cards unless this is card draw. This has to be card draw. Oh, you're right. Swindle. Swindle will do it. Swindle will do it. Or cram session. True. See, now I really wish I got that three damage in earlier. Oh, they're, they're looking for card draw. No card draw. No card draw. Please, no card draw. For the love of God and all this holy, do not get card draw. Do not get card draw. Do, game, do not screw me over like this. Do not screw me over like this. Let him get like Ignite or something. I don't care. Just don't give him card draw. Please. Oh, dear God. Wow. So this is spell damage plus two. So they won't be able to kill us, though. They, they need more spell damage. Right? It's GG. I don't know about that. Whoa! All right, phew. All right, do we lose? <clears throat> I'm afraid we're dead. I don't think we are, though. <clears throat> phew! Oh! <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't know what they're playing. I assume aggro. And I think I'll pick off this accordingly. Oh! Guys. Oh. Samro, though. Oh, I really want to go Kargath. But I think I got to go Samro in case it's aggro, right? That just seems too good to pass up. That seems way too good to pass up. Thank you, Manyar. Thank you for your blessing. I will definitely use it to destroy the uh, the aggro druids. Ah, oh, yes. We are rewarded. Rewarded, chat. Um, we definitely just sword and board this. And I know it might be re it might seem like we want to keep this in this matchup. I don't think we want this now. I think we'd rather just get more removal because like we're looking at, we look at our hands here. We have no removal. We have. I'm actually like really happy we went for the Samro because if we didn't, all we have is minefield. And now like we have to get rid of this. We have this has to go. Yeah, but the ultimate 10 mana removal. Interesting. Interesting. Now that's just now that's just annoying. I guess we just go for this. We play you on four, even though we could have played you on three. This going to five mana really annoying though, because this would have been a great card to play next turn. It looks like this will still get value though. So what are these two cards? I'm assuming that one of these, like Oracle Valoon or like the the Battle Guard or whatever it's called. I don't think I, I don't think I commit this now. Do I? I mean, it's I do, I do, I will commit this now. I think just getting stuff on board in this matchup is really good, especially because I have Provoke, so I could like Outriders act something. I could pr provoke stuff into Samro, like. Say, I, I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. Even though we, we definitely popped off early, but we don't like having any way to buff this up. So I think just getting the value when we can against like this deck uh, to just buy time until we get like our removal seems really good. All right, I think they have Oracle Valoon and the and the little Quill Board dude, and they're gonna pop off on turn six with like a with a bunch of stuff. So I'm a little scared. I'm gonna hold back the Weapon Swing. We're not really a Smorker in this matchup. Oh, never mind. Their hand just sucks. <laughs> I was so worried about so worried about this game. It's like, oh nope, their hand just sucks. Um, let's trade you away. Yeah, that wasn't great either. I probably want to get rid of you though. I think I will actually go for this. If things get really bad, we had the bull work to sort of just chill. This will not die. Now our cat's gonna, getting her second dinner. That's also very superior. Let's see. Smack into this. Oh, thank goodness. We got Brawl. Oh, no. They got Zixor. Oh, no. 
Zixor. Oh, that could be scary. That could be a scary one. I know. I mean, like, even though even though they got this uh, freaking Zixor, I think we could still win. We have so much removal. We have chonky minions. And I have Lenko laughing at me. So that's just the ultimate motivation to still win this game, despite potentially getting screwed over by this. Interesting. Interesting. Are they going to go for uh, composting? Yep. I figured that was going to happen. I feel like we want to hit into this, but we don't want to kill these guys. Because I don't want to I don't want to put this I don't want I don't want to do like anything with with these guys. Uh we got the grunt. Let's let's trade into this first see what we get before we play the grunt. And that's guys, see that's why you draw first. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Dear god, guy gosh, who uh, leave this cowardly grunt alone you, you don't know what that cowardly grunt's been through he 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 went through the freaking warlock meta that's why he's so cowardly he's terrified to just go out there you don't you don't know his story guys can, can we get some love in chat for the cowardly grunt he's, he's had a hard time he's had a hard time but anyways i feel like this just won us the game uh like they could play a bunch of minions we don't really care we got brawl Yep. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We don't even care. Oh, Scoobs, I got you with a hair flip. Ooh, nice little hair flip there. Ooh, I wish I could play this Rancor, but I cannot. I could just play the Moog Forge Fiend. I, I, you know, let's just be responsible and brawl this board away. I'm like, we don't need to get fancy with it. We got a freaking Rattle Gore. And most of the time, we clear it off with the weapon anyways. Uh, hmm. I could play this bull. I could play the bulwark now just to give myself the space to just develop uh, like a troublemaker next turn. I sort of like that. Yeah, dude, I was in chat when Zeddy performed the hair flip. Zeddy performed a beard flip. Oh god, yeah, Senecus. The the poor grunts cannot see play in wild. These guys these guys don't have the heart to to play in wild. Look at him, he's so terrified. Yeah, dude, I want to use all my mana. That's def that's definitely why I played the bulwark. Hmm. But because I like I know I I can only take like a certain amount of, of like damage this turn, it just gives me space to be like greedy and play this. Which I really wanted to do. Because I feel like it's just going to be game over. Like, I could I could have gotten the Morag Forge Fiend down. I think it's still a reasonable card. But this just puts on pressure and, and sort of flips the game onto my opponent here. And they could do... Uh, they could get three swings here if they use their hero power. But then, like, they're not dealing with this. Which I think is a problem for them. I think we got this game. I think we're going to... We, we might get another Druid Rage Quit. That'd be glorious. Oh, no, no. Oh! They're, they're going to trade. Interesting. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. Did I just uh did I just get a little too cocky here? I don't think it's possible to lose this game, but I may have uh gotten a little too carried away. Wait, no, we're fine, we're fine. Cause I, I go Rancor, I kill these three dudes. Alright guys, you ready to see the, the GG's? Ready for some GG's? You go uh boom. Boom. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. We're right, we're causing some trouble up in here. Superior David and chat causing some trouble for this druid. Oh, oh that was dirty. <laughs> there we go. There we freaking go. Big warrior, everybody. Big warrior.